Hello, YouTube. I hope you are having a fabulous weekend. It's beautiful this entire week. And when I looked on the weather, it had said it was going to rain, but then I looked again. It's not going to rain no more. So, you've been having some decent weather. Enjoy it while it lasts because you know with March, it's very bipolar weather. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to get cold again. <laughs> And you know the weather don't really settle till like the end of May. So, and when I first stepped out my house today, it was warm and then now it's a little nippy. That's why your girl got on her winter coat. I don't have on my, my big thick coat that I wear in 30 degree weather, but you know, I got my warm jacket on. Yeah. So, but today, I went to a women empowerment conference. Um, Tanya uh, Lewis Taylor, she is a gospel singer and something flashed on YouTube. And I was like, I'm gonna go. It's free, why not? I didn't really have anything planned for today other than running some errands with my son. I had ordered me some, I was like, you know what? Let me treat myself to a new dining set. I've been dying for one for years. And I actually, the one I have, I haven't had for long. But it's tearing apart. Raymond and Flanagan, shame on you. But I went to Macy's, ordered me a marble table with some blue chairs. It's really nice. So, I, what I noticed about furniture is they don't make it as good as they used to. And then you have to pay for protection. You know, <laughs> so that the protection fee, 300 and some dollars. The delivery fee is 125. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's so yeah. costly. And then I was eligible for the Macy's credit card, which I was never eligible before. But now all of a sudden I was eligible. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but yeah. But the women's empowerment event something they said that will always stick to me and it's literally an acronym of fear it's um evidence of things around that's not real that's what it literally is you're afraid of evidence around things that's not real you know so basically people and when you think about it fear of what um, fear of not going back to school, for instance. I graduated two years ago, so I can speak on it. I have no loans to pay back because I had a prayer. I did my research, right? And I went to a school that I could afford. Um, CUNY is not a bad institution, but it wasn't for me. Um, when you fail that math remedial, they will not let you take your major courses. So a lot of... Um, money that went towards that class it w it could have went towards me right so i wasted a lot of time and i would suggest it to anybody if you failed the assessment test one time you could give yourself another chance but don't keep driving yourself crazy with that because for most people they just never pass with the math i'm talking about um i had passed the reading and the writing it was the math and when you get the first three questions wrong, you fail the whole exam. So it wasn't, the CUNY thing didn't work for me, but I did go back to Mercy College and I graduated. So fear of money, listen, I put it in God's hands and guess what? COVID happened. Not only did I get stimulus checks, but I got COVID relief checks. I got scholarships on top of scholarships. I got a scholarship for coming back to the dang uh, school. And also with Mercy College, I can't speak for any other school. The scholarship they was going to give me when I was 18, when I first started, they held on to it and I still had that money. Now, I don't know how other schools do it, but that's how Mercy is, right? They, they have Mercy on your girl. And it's not the best college educationally wise. Um, there's a lot of schools that's way better. But as far as money, it was, you know, it was good. For me. But yeah, back to the acronym. Um, 
it was so powerful when they said that because so many people don't finish school or don't achieve their goals because of fear. And that's what I just wanted to tell my girls, not just women, but men that listen to me too. Um, try to overcome your fear. Another thing they said is surround yourself with positive people. Okay. And I've always been very big on that. Surround yourself, not just people who work in and go to school, but people who speak positive into your life. If you have a hater in your corner, what do I mean by hate? Not someone that's being realistic, right? But, you know, like, like if you want to be a teacher, for instance, a person who has your best interest at heart, they'll just let you know, like, hey, this is what the district is. This is, you know, it's not going to be flowers and daisies. You have to do behavior management. You have to deal with this and that and so on. A person that's negative now, oh, how are you going to pay for your masters? Da -da -da. First of all, the DOE pay for it if you're permanent. And even if you're a sub, it'll work out on itself. The universe will literally, even if you don't believe in God, the universe will give you what you want. You got it in you. Trust and believe. You know? So, for people that the naysayers, they said that. Get away from the naysayers. Get away from people, especially, and I'm gonna say this don't listen to people that's beneath you. If someone doesn't have a college degree, do not listen to them. Right? Don't listen to those people. Or if a person who you're trying to be an entrepreneur, and they broke and they they work don't listen to them right or somebody who lives at home or someone like say for example i don't drive yet but i'm gonna listen to a driver perfect example right so i don't have my permit yet i had it but it expired but if i'm trying to get a car i'm gonna listen to somebody who has one right that makes sense or say for example I'm an aspiring, I want to tell my little testimony. So I've been saying a prayer that I want God to strengthen my circle, right? That's why I know that me going to the empowerment conference today, it was just confirmation from the Lord because my coworker, like I told y'all, I'm a substitute. My current coworker right now is an author and he writes plays. I'm gonna be in his next play and He's gonna help me with my headshots, and he already, um, you know, um, another coworker of ours has been in his play, and his um, film has been on uh, IB, IMBP. So he's doing big things. It was also in a film festival, and that's what I want to do. I want to, me personally, if I become famous, so be it. But I always wanted to be an actress. I always wanted to be on stage. And now is my time. I have the time. My son is 15. I'm done with school. So now I have time on my hands to achieve my secular dreams too. You know, the degree, boom. Now we, we focusing on my dreams as far as my second book and um, acting. So, just in that little, you know, the universe gave me who I have now in my life, you know. And he's so positive and encouraging, and God knew that I needed that in my life. It's amazing. So, I tell anyone, you know, surround, like they said today at the conference, surround yourself with positive people. Don't listen to the naysayers. If you're out there and you're working and you have a dream and a passion to be an entrepreneur, you do it. You do it. You don't listen to the naysayers. You walk out on faith because guess what? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I didn't know that I was going to be able to afford the remainder of my tuition. I just stepped out on faith. I'm like, you know what? They giving me financial aid and scholarships. Maybe I could hook up a put payment plan, whatever. I didn't know that other checks was going to come. I didn't know COVID was going to happen. It just, you know, and that's just a small example of when you step out on faith, God will do the rest. Literally, God will do the rest. You know, you can't 
we're all human and we do worry but worrying you you have to remember worrying is of the devil and god will never want you to worry so all the naysayers that's like well how are you going it was a, a lady on the panel she was like her parents she was lucky to have positive parents um but her aunt was like well why are you giving up your six-figure job to um start your business and stuff like that but luckily she didn't listen to the negativity because this lady's stuff is in macy's and jc penny she's making way more than just six figures you know now i wouldn't say that for everybody but she stepped out on faith she knew that the job she had wasn't it wasn't it and that's not what she needed for her mental health or for her sanity and she had to go and she's half it all the women on the panel another thing they have god in their life and another lady spoke and she said the only if i conquer the enemy within the enemies outside cannot do nothing to me and that was so powerful because it's so true when you're confident in yourself the outside forces they could try to derail you but it'll never succeed and that same woman she said how she worked in the music industry for years and she had depression depression and anxiety and she opened up a nonprofit. she opened up a nonprofit, and she had to step out on faith because she was making money way more than six figures and she stepped out on faith to say i can't do this anymore a lot of people walk away are walking away from nine to fives because it is draining and when you retire from these jobs people die because they're so stressed out you know and um you have actors who die too but at least at the end of the day that's something that they wanted to do um to be perfectly honest with y'all i always wanted to be a model actress and a singer i never wanted to work for the doe i never wanted to do anything in criminal justice i never wanted to do any of that but i didn't have the opportunity and bills need to be paid right so <laughs> you know um so this is my moment and this man i'm working with now you know we hoping he that even if he's not the next Tyler, i want him to be better than tyler perry because i'm tired of black men wearing dresses yes i said it <laughs> and i told him you know thank god you're masculine thank god you know don't don't make nobody turn you into no girl you know he's masculine the men he have in, in his plays are masculine they real men and that's what we need sorry not sorry so no he not gonna be the next tyler perry he gonna be better than tyler perry <laughs> you know so um that's my wish that's my prayer and uh yeah overcome fear right things that are that don't even exist you're of being afraid of the unknown god has not given us the spirit of fear nor of doubt or sound mind you know so and those are my thoughts <laughs>